और वहां नीचे हीरा रखकर दे ऑब्जर्व दैट इज द अदर नेम ऑफ मैग्नीफाइंग ग्लास इज सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप ठीक है आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू आई एम नॉट आस्किंग यू टू ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम अगेन बिकॉज़ यू हैव ड्रॉन बट दैट गोस ऑफ होमवर्क सो प्लीज ड्रॉ सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप मैग्नीफाइंग दिस केस सो राइट दैट टॉपिक पुट ड्रॉ as homework and you will be drawing this at home with a nicely ray diagram i am requesting a nicely ray diagram of the please write label objects properly o o dash and label image also i have seen Not labeled object and images. Show direction of rays before refraction and after refraction. Yes, I'm just raising some important points in your ray diagram. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Now let's go to two important experiments. Yes, ma'am. Uh, please move from that position and suggest a quickly. All right. So this is your homework point. You already know this point, but I'm erasing this now. Let's move to the two important experiments. In this experiment, All right. So in this case, your aim is. So we have two experiment. The first experiment. What is the purpose of our experiment? We we will be given one lens. And what kind of lens is it? It is convex lens. Okay. And you will be given this lens. and you will be asked to find its focal length aapko kya karna hai experiment karke iska focal length dhoondna hai theek hai how will you find focal length of this image so of course aapko agar focal length dhoondna hai to aapko object ka kahi image form karna padega theek hai to aapko ek object bhi chahiye hoga in this case in this experiment this is very important we will be using a distant object distant object matlab object ka aakar kafi dur hai theek hai Yes, maybe you have done it in your school, but I I don't think so. Others are aware about this. All right. So now object is kept very far, and we know when object is very far, when object is very far, मान लीजिए एकदम infinity है, तो image कहाँ form होता है? Focus. ठीक है? So of course in reality, since I am doing an experiment, I can't keep my object at infinity. Yeah, but I can keep it very far, as much far as I can. I will try to keep. So, what do we do in this case? We take a far object, which can be a building or a tree or anything. So, if you window see, for example, if you have a very far, far, far building, or a tree, then you can use that object in the way you want. You can arrange the lens so that all the rays from the tree are coming from this lens. Hit low. ठीक है एंड व्हाट विल आई व्हाट डू आई नो दैट आई कैन कैप्चर आई कैन कैप्चर इमेज ऑफ दिस ट्री ठीक है ऑन अ स्क्रीन राइट बिकॉज व्हाट इज दिस लेंस कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एंड इफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज वेरी फार वेरी फार तो रेज जब हिट होगी तो कैसी होगी पैरेलल होगी लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ मी टू रेज ठीक है सो एंड आफ्टर हिटिंग This parallel rays will meet where, so they will meet at focus. ठीक है? So I know if my object is very far, the rays are coming, ठीक है? Parallel here to it, and then finally जब अगर वो कहाँ यहाँ मिलेंगे, और मैंने यहाँ पे जो screen रख दी, it can be anything, a piece of paper, 
if i do not have piece of paper even i can use a wall theek hai so i can use wall i can use this window i keep my lens over here of course ye extra mein subah karke kyunki hamara object hai hum theek hai to bahar do object hai theek hai so bahar se jo rays aa rahi hai theek hai and agle tarah jo lens hai yahan image form hogi theek hai top image form hogi i have to actually move my lens such that i get a clear image on this wall once i get clear image that means i have placed my lens at such point where the distance between screen and my lens is focal length because hame pata hai dur ka object ka image kaha banta hai focus ke liye theek hai so ye focal length hoga abhi yahan clear dikh raha hai otherwise to kya hoga ya to image diminish ho gayi blur ho gaya to ho gayi theek hai depending upon the area i hope this is clear so what we require
to understand what are we finding in terms of the screen, what, what kind of image is captured in screen, and you can expect some questions. This will be virtual or is it? Where am I capturing it on screen? I'm <laughs> 
So first thing, whatever is the image formation, आपको ये top से देखना है, and आप जैसे इस side में जाएंगे तो आपका image दोनों move होना चाहिए, and अगर आप ये side में गए या ये side में गए तो आपका object का image दोनों move होगा without parallax error. If one of them shifts and image उधर की उधर ही है, या ऐसे shift होगा that means there is error. But if both of them are without parallax error, आपको proper arrangement करनी है. That means if you move then object and image both will move. So if you can, I'll repeat so that you know you have understood. Can you go to page 130? Can you go to page 130? Can you read the second point? Adjust the height of the pen till it has no parallax with its inverted image as seen from vertically above the pit. To check parallax, keep eye vertically above. So, you have to keep eye vertically above the object or image. Ke. And what will you observe? And of course, nearly 25 centimeter because we have a minimum distance ka vision. Hota hai. Uh, vision ka minimum distance. Hota hai. And what does it say? Yes, if the tip of the pin and its image shift together, there is no parallax error. So if you are moving, if you are moving, and if your image and object both are moving, that means there is no parallax error. But if you move your head from year to year, and instead only one moves, that means there is parallax error. That means both of them have been arranged such that they move together. Just you will understand when you are performing the experiment, and I try to get a video of this in case it is possible. It is a beautiful experiment. Trust me, if you perform this, uh, I will try, I think, uh, if not this, at least I can tell you what parallax error is. What is this We are determining the focal length using auxiliary plane mirror method. So there is a plane mirror, this is a plane mirror. This is a console lens. Okay, and what is this? Pin. Pin, okay? All right, so why is this? Now answering the question, why is this inverted image formed here? That's very interesting to see. So we arrange it such that we stop at one point where there is no parallax error. And what happens is this position, this position is such that it is actually at focus point. Which point? Focus point. So you know when rays come from focus point. So let's say this is tip and it is hitting the, which lens is this? Convex lens. So let's say two rays are hitting like this. What will happen after refraction? Since it is coming from focus, after refraction it will become what? Parallel, right? Do you remember that? And uh, on what is it hitting? It is hitting plane Okay. Enough of the discussion. This is the most important point. This is the video now. No, I'm saying I look for the videos. It's not this account, not like this long. But I have few of them who can look for me and get send me the videos. I'll try my best. I can't but uh, comment. Anyway, you will be doing it in school. They give you the example. All right, so this was the major point where since these rays are coming from focus, post refraction they become parallel, right? And you know when it hits parallel mirror, mirror to see that if normally it hits, it will bounce back. And since it is bouncing back the same path, वो फिर से वही path में जा रहा है, और फिर से वही यहीं पे जाकर क्या हो रहा है? बन रहा है, ठीक है? So that means ये tip का image कहाँ बन रहा है? वहीं पे बन रहा है। अब यहाँ से मान लीजिए कोई ray आएगी, उसका image कहाँ बन रहा है? Opposite side पर। यहाँ से कोई ray आएगी, उसका image कहाँ होगा? Opposite side। So this is basically because of lens as well as mirror. Because mirror, अगर ये lens होता, तो image कहाँ form होने थी पीछे। But ये mirror ने क्या कर दिया? उसका पीछे तकरारने की वजह वही inverted image को यहाँ बनाया। I hope you have understood the logic behind the importance of mirror, ठीक है? And how now you know that if I have got a full
position where this pin and this image so this object and this image are without parallax error if this is the case then this distance this whole distance is not this whole distance because isme kya hota hai extra position extra hai right hamara focal length kya hota hai distance between optical center and the object that tip theek hai so to uh, remove that error i don't think so you have formula but still write the formula to so no so they are using x and y x plus y no they are using this distance as x i don't think so you have learned the formula but still no as of today this distance is known as x and this distance from uh, from mirror is known as y so i have answered your question why are they not taking y distance because that y distance is distance between image and the mirror that cannot be focal length because image and optical center chahiye theek hai so how do we compensate that we find this distance and i think uh, no we are the problem no i am not sure if you okay so they are not taking this distance they are taking up till this much so they find this y they find x and in the no average nikal lenge to aapko ye wala distance mil jayega distance from this point and this point okay and i don't think so you have to worry about the formula it will not be used but still just write it so focal length is given by x plus y by 2 why not directly x because x represents distance between this two and y represents distance between mirror and the image and we want distance from optical center and the object object okay that is why we use this x plus y formula please this is the last experiment write it down draw proper ray diagram this is very important and we will solve one last numerical and end this chapter is it done great the ones who are done can take the numerical now for this All right. Oh, great! Directions are important. Directions are important. Great directions are important. Please do not miss great directions. These are important. Is it done? Great directions. Is there any? All right. If this is finished, it is all done. Can I get more time so that I can?
Page 95, question 40. Who's book is this? Question number 40. Is it one year left? Minus 10 is answer. 
magnification is 0.5. They are asking magnification as well. So let's find magnification. Magnification is V by U, which is equal to minus 10 by minus 20.
focus but somewhere below focus yes ma'am and we can call this as the focal plane pe kahin ka pa hoga so basically ye agar focal plane hai aapka which is perpendicular to the principal axis so aapke koi bhi plane mein kahin pe bhi koi focus point f dash hoga so ye sari rays jo hai kahan pe converge hokar milegi theek hai and we can so uh, फोकल प्लेन को प्लीज एक बार मत करिएगा ठीक है आज अभी के लिए आप मुझे कोई भी तीन आप कोई भी तीन लर्न करते हैं मैं आपको प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस का ऑप्शन दे रही हूँ ऑप्टिकल सेंटर का ऑप्शन दे रही हूँ प्रिंसिपल फोकाई का ऑप्शन दे रही हूँ एंड फोकल प्लेन का ऑप्शन दे रही हूँ आप इनमें से कोई भी दो बता दीजिए और जाइए